With everything going on in the multiverse, sometimes it can be hard to tell what happened, especially when certain characters showed up in certain timelines. Spider-Man No Way Home did it best of course with Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield, as well as bringing in all of the villains from all the universes. And speaking of bringing people in other films or universes, it appears that Tom Holland was meant to appear in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. In a post on Twitter, the post captioned, Spider-Man was supposed to have a brief cameo in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness in the initial script. Nothing crazy in the slightest, but still interesting to think about. For the events of the film from both No Way Home and the second installment of Doctor Strange, some might wonder how it could have made sense. The pandemic was to blame for this as rescheduling of the movie that No Way Home was set to release after Multiverse of Madness. Thus, Tom Holland's character waited until the next movie to meet with the Doctor again. As Spider-Man uh, No Way Home was supposed to come out after Multiverse, and then with COVID, it then came out before. So Doctor Strange in his new costume and America Chavez was supposed to go into Spider-Man, and Spider-Man was supposed to come into, uh, for a very brief cameo appearance, into Multiverse. And then, you know, COVID just, um, just shook it all up. The revelation sheds light on how the pandemic affected the Marvel Cinematic Universe's release schedule and storytelling. Intriguingly, America Chavez, a character with magical abilities, was expected to play a significant role in No Way Home. However, the altered release schedule prompted changes, with Ned Leeds stepping in as Spider-Man's magic apprentice instead. This shift fundamentally altered the dynamics of No Way Home. I still feel like it would have been great to see a glimpse of Tom Holland within this film as Benedict Cumberbatch was one of the main characters in No Way Home, and the two actors have worked alongside of each other for some time now in various projects from the MCU, and we can't forget about all the times they have been in interviews together, especially the ones where Benedict Cumberbatch practically had to babysit Holland as he kept spoiling plot details non-stop. That was great fun. Sparks fine. It was good mm -hmm. conflict. From the trailer, it looks like you two have- You can get uh, your answer. Sorry. Oh, That's sorry. Right. Oh. You can uh, get um, your generic answer. Okay, uh, what was the question? Most- uh, Fun. Most fun. 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 Honor. I know a lot about, mm. um, I know a lot about Marvel movies, actually. And that was yeah. before Spider-Man. Like, I've always been a huge fan. Yeah. And I found out on the Spider-Man press tour. Yeah. People would try and catch me out with questions, Ooh. and I was always sort of- <laughs> On the flip side, we can look at what could possibly come of Doctor Strange 3. Of course, there was a post-credit scene that showed Clea. Now, this doesn't mean that there will be a Doctor Strange 3, as we know Marvel does like to include post-credit scenes to almost all of their projects. However, it could mean very many things. Since it does include Doctor Strange, however, though, it could very well mean that there is a third one to come. Marvel themselves have not announced anything yet, but given that there is many spots open for Phase 6 of the MCU, anything can happen. And according to some sources, Doctor Strange's next outing is under development. It will be based on the Time Runs Out comic, in which the story leads to the readers directly into the Secret Wars event. Since it is supposed to be another multiversal movie leading us into the Kang Dynasty, we can expect some known faces to return. Benedict Wong and even Jonathan Majors might be back. There is a whole slate of Phase 6 where the film could fit. It would have been a challenging milestone to achieve, but now that Secret Wars is pushed to 2027, Marvel Studios has plenty of time to figure out the film's place in the MCU timeline. The only thing we can go off of is that the storyline would have Something to do with Clea partnering with Doctor Strange. But we wanted to turn this around to you guys. What are your thoughts on all of this? Do you wish we would have gotten to see Tom Holland in the sequel, or do you think it was best for both films if he didn't? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys.